Good morning. So I wanted just to really quick talk about a glaring issue with our food supply that a lot of people really aren't looking at. It, it really goes uh, above the radar of most, it would seem. So as you know, over the last several years, there have been countless amounts of shortages that were claimed to happen and we were going to run out of this we were going to run out of that and while we saw that in some instances uh for the most part it's just food the cost of food went up um which of course causes problems in and of itself however for the most part the food supplies were actually there in most cases however I want to point out something that I really don't think that people are talking about when they think about all the different supply chain stuff. And I have been outspoken about this for a long time, um, at least two decades. I've been speaking out about this, and that's factory farming. And there is just a multitude <laughs> of reasons why factory farming is bad. Um, for one, the food in and of itself is nowhere near as healthy and beneficial as food that's grown on a farm where the animals aren't, you know, over, um, overstocked, if you will, you know, <clears throat> you look at these, these factory chicken farms, right? And I mean, these chickens live their life in a little bitty, bitty spot. I mean, a little bitty cage. They live their life in there. And that's not nearly as healthy as what a free-range bird is going to be. It doesn't taste as good as what a free-range bird would taste. So, you know, there are a lot of negative effects of this factory farming. But there's one issue, even beyond all of that, that I don't think gets discussed enough. And that is the fact that most of our food comes from just a handful of places. And, and when I say that, I'm talking about different foods obviously come from different places. But like, for instance, I watched a documentary <clears throat> last night called Poison. <clears throat> and it was talking about, you know, different things like E. coli outbreaks and salmonella outbreaks and stuff like that. And so they showed, you know, a couple of different industries and explained that, you know, most of your lettuce, for example, comes from two different places in the United States. Uh, there's a place in Calif an area in California and an area in Arizona, Yuma, Arizona. And, uh, and that's where most lettuce products come from. Most lettuce and lettuce products come from. So here's the thing. You know, it's 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 bad enough to have the discussion that if there is a an outbreak of some type of bacteria or something like that, um, that so many different products, you know, such a large batch of food is going to be accepted. That's in and of itself a bad thing. However, imagine what would happen if at these factory farms, whether it be for lettuce or for chickens or what have you. Imagine what would happen if, for whatever reason, um, those facilities failed to produce. We have our food so centralized at this point that that's going to compound the issue that many times over if and when a big event does happen because you don't have, you know, all your eggs are in one basket, so to speak, or in, we'll say, fewer baskets. I think this is probably one of the overarching concerns we should have when it comes to our food supply is the fact that it has been centralized so much that it wouldn't take much to take entire food products off the shelf for recall, for example. Um, you know, if there was a major, major, and there was a major outbreak with, uh, with lettuce, that's how I know about the Yuma, Arizona thing and all that. 
but it could be oh so much worse than what it already has been. You know, of course, anybody can just go out there and say, oh, well, grow your own food, right? It's not so easy for everybody to do. And if any aspect of it was easy, we would have more people out there being, you know, farmers than what we do. <clears throat> the reason that the amount of farmers is plummeting is because they're getting pushed out in every which way. They're getting priced out. They're getting pushed out. They're, it just everything because like any other kind of business the more bulk you can deal in the better prices you get the better profits you can make and so when you got the farmer that's got a hundred or two hundred acres or what have you and i really honestly don't know on the pyramid of how much 200 acres would be as a farmer i would my guess is probably somewhere around well what used to be the average farmer maybe i'm not sure on that um i've not farmed uh, highland is a farming community but i have not farmed other than i bailed hay once <laughs> that's it um but the problem is is so many of those resources are controlled by so few and not only do i mean that in a sense of ownership but i also mean that in a, a sense of production i think if we're gonna worry or if we're gonna tell other people to worry about food we should probably focus on the fact of the level of centralization of the food we probably need to start there before we can really branch out and fix the myriad of other issues involving food it's crazy i don't have you know <clears throat> there's an interesting documentary um i always watch that kind of stuff and i take it with a grain of salt because it's documentary i'm getting usually <laughs> in today's documentaries you're usually only getting one side because they aren't there to to cover it thoroughly they're there to with an agenda to make you feel a certain way about a certain thing so i always hold information that comes in that manner uh with a grain of salt um because again it, it's just one of those things to where anybody can make anything look bad if you focus on the bad of it, right? You totally ignore all the good and just focus on the bad. Anybody could run anything into the ground. But we need to be concerned about this. We really need to be concerned about this because we are so limited by the way that our current food system is set up. And by all means, I don't think it's just about greed. I don't think it's just about building an empire of companies. No, I think that a lot of it is simply control. I think a lot of it is simply control. Hey, you're going to eat the bugs if that's all that's available to eat. You'll eat the bugs, right? Well, how hard is it for them to to force us to eat the bugs when they're the ones that control the food supply chain. More and more, when I think of the phrase, you own nothing and be happy, I'm getting a more and more clear understanding of that as each day goes by. You'll be happy, you'll, you're just alive. You'll be happy if you're not starving quite as much as you was the day before. We got some sick individuals pulling the marionette strings. We better figure out where the hell we put our scissors 
and how to cut them. Shalom.